Hi, this is Rob from SeeHowToDoIt.com. Before we start the video, we'd like to thank you for watching. We'd also like to ask you to please like, subscribe, and share on social media, and visit us at SeeHowToDoIt.com. Today, we're going to show you how to hook up this fan speed switch on a swamp cooler. This will enable you to be able to start the pump, be able to prime your pads or media before turning on the fan. That way, you won't be blowing dust all over into the space. You'll be able to operate it on uh, low speed with the pump, high speed with the pump, or if you want, you could operate it with fan only. So let's get started. Okay, these next steps are gonna take some electrical skills, so if you're not comfortable with this, hopefully you have a friend that's able to help you out or have an electrician do it because you don't wanna have any problems with uh, any p potential fires. And we're gonna explain the how this works pretty much. This is a two-speed motor and the way it works, here's your ground wire over here, your white is your common over here, your red is always gonna be your low speed, and your black over here is gonna be your high speed. So this is a two-speed motor. Uh, you might even possibly have a three-speed motor, and if you do, generally the blue wire will be your middle speed. And since these wires have been cut, we're gonna go ahead and uh, splice this, and we're gonna add on into it. Since it's dry up over here, we'll go ahead and put it Let's see, we'll show you. Put it up over here, and we don't need to put this in an electrical box, but you can go ahead and put it in a box. We're going to go ahead and use wire nuts, and we'll probably tape them up. So we're going to go ahead and do this, and we're not going to show this because that's a whole other deal. Like I said, you're going to have to have somebody help you if you're not comfortable with it. So we're going to go ahead and lengthen this wire, and we'll move on to the next step. Okay, we've went ahead and lengthened our wire. And our original wire was four wire. We couldn't find any four wire. We were only able to find three. So we went ahead and secured our ground to the chassis over here. And uh, as you can see, as we explained before, our red wire is our low speed of the fan. So since we could only find three wire, we're gonna attach the red wire to the green, which it really doesn't make a difference what color is as long as you know what it is at the other end. And our uh, hot to hot and obviously are common to common so now we're gonna and then we're gonna also gonna tape tape this up and mount it down properly so it's out of the way and now we're gonna proceed to the next step all right to make this as easy as possible we're showing you the diagram on the computer screen which is this is what the back of the switch looks like over here as you can see it right there so pretty much our hot wire this is our incoming power wire we'll connect that to right over here l1 and then from there, this is our low speed wire that comes from our motor, which is red. We'll connect that to number one over here. And then the high speed, which comes from the motor, we'll connect that to the C right over here. And then from the pump, we'll connect the black wire, the pump, to number two over here. And then all of our white wires, the neutral wires, we'll go ahead and wire nut those all together over here. And that's pretty much going to take care of all of our wiring as far as our speed switch is concerned. So we're gonna make all of our connections and we're gonna show you how it looks. And we're gonna also mount this on a box. Okay, here's all of our wiring over here. I already know this is for our pump right over here and this is coming from our motor. We're gonna actually mount this box right over here. So we're gonna go ahead and feed these wires in here. Like I said, on this one, this is our motor. We're going to be using the green wire as our red wire for our low speed. Go ahead and feed that in there. Go ahead and pull it down a little bit. And we're going to go ahead and screw this down. And we will silicone the top of this so this way the wire doesn't move or any kind of moisture comes inside there. So we're going to go ahead and mount this and then we'll come back to it when we're done. To show you, we are going to use some self tappers to be able to mount this box to the cabin here. So we're going to go ahead and mount that. Okay, we've went ahead and crimped on some connectors on our wires. That way we'll be able to connect them onto the fan speed switch. And we've also put connectors on our ground wires and we'll be connecting our ground wires right over here to our box. So we're going to go ahead and make all of our connections and then we'll show you how it looks when it's done. And, and it is going to be pretty tight in this box. If you're not as comfortable, you might want to get a bigger box. And uh, like I said, if you're not good with electrical, you might want to have somebody do it 
that uh, knows what they're doing because you don't want to have any issues with it. And all of our white common wires, we're going to wire nut all those together. One other thing that we did do to be able to help identify the wiring, this is our wet red wire on the other end. We went ahead and put some black tape on it. That way it will help us identify it in a perfect world. Obviously you'd use some red tape, but it's the only one with tape on it. So we know on the other end, this is our red wire for our low speed of the fan. All right, here's all of our connections complete. This is our incoming hot wire right over here. Our green is our red wire. That's our low speed of the fan connected at number one right there. And this is our pump wire connected at number two right there. And this is our high speed of the fan connected to C right there. And over here we connected all of our commons together. And right back in over here is all of our ground. So we're gonna go ahead and mount this to the box and we're just about done. Okay, everything's all mounted down, power's connected to it, and now we're ready to test them. And as you can see right over here, you have off, you have pump only, high coal, and that's with the pump on, low coal with the pump on. And over here, this would be just the vent on high and the vent on low. So if we go ahead and turn it over here to pump only, you can actually hear the pump come on. We'll show you that it's going. We have the cover off here. You can see the pump's going there. So now we'll go ahead and show you the fan. We'll go ahead and switch this to high. As you can hear, the fan came on there. You can see the fans turning there. Now we'll go ahead and show you the low speed. We'll go ahead and switch to the low speed. You actually heard the fan slow down a little bit. You can see it spinning there. All right, now we'll go ahead and turn it off. That's off now. And like I said, if you do want to run it just as a fan, fan only without the pump, this is the low speed here. And this would be the high speed right over here. And we'll go ahead and turn it off. Once again, we'd like to thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share on social media. And visit us at seehowtodoit.com. Thank you.